Welcome to this section of the class, which is about presentation. In this part, we're going to cover five different units to help you improve your presentation skill. Before I begin, let me just make a general point to help you understand what's the goal. If I want to improve my presentation, what is it I'm trying to do? Well, I'm sure you have some experience with presentation. Maybe you've seen presentations at a conference. Maybe you've seen presentations by other students in class. We all have lots of experience with presentations. But let me ask you, how many presentations have you seen from your teachers, from researchers, from other students, classmates? And how many of those times have you thought, I'm bored, I'm tired, I have other things to do. Oh, what time is it? I need to do something, I need to go somewhere. Or you go online, use your phone. A presentation that is boring makes you feel tired, makes you feel distracted, makes you feel it's going on too long. And yes, we sit there and we try to be nice and we smile and sometimes we nod our head or sometimes we just fall asleep. That's possible. So when we're talking about presentations, I think that's the normal presentation we often see. It's long, it's boring, you don't really remember the main point. So in this class, these five units, what we want to do is help you, help me, to make better presentations. That means when I'm sitting in the audience and I'm watching your presentation, I'm watching you, I don't feel tired, I don't feel bored, and when it's finished, I understand your main point. At least one main point. Maybe a little bit more, but one main point is important. So when we make presentations, the goal is to make the people in the audience, every person, feel not bored, not tired, interested, excited, maybe happy, but at least not tired. And when they leave, they can remember your main point, at least. Maybe a little bit more if you did a good job. So. In these five units, we're going to try to do that. But always remember, the goal is shorter and clearer. I've never been to a presentation and I've raised my hand and said, oh, excuse me, sir, your presentation is too short. Can you please make your presentation longer? That never happens. But many times, almost always, I keep thinking, why is this presentation so long? Can this presentation be shorter? I have to do something. Let me check my phone. So let's keep that in mind. The goal is shorter, easier to understand, simple, short and simple. So in these five units, what we're going to do is introduce five main ideas to help you improve your presentation skill. Each unit at the beginning will have an introduction and at the end will have a short review, just to tell you the main points. Inside each unit will have the main topic, which may include an exercise you can do at home to help you practice and get better. Then we're going to have some examples. Now these examples are not famous people or people from the internet or someone who makes famous speeches. No, I don't think that's our goal. Our goal is not to do the best or better than somebody who has many years experience. I think the goal here is to help you so that when you give your research presentation or when you do your thesis defense or when you go to a conference and present or when you present in a classroom, at least you don't make the students and the audience feel bored and you can get across your main point. 
So to do that, I'm going to use examples from other students. I've been teaching this class for many years, and I always ask my students to come and present to the video camera. I save their presentations for two main reasons. One, when you come and present to the camera, you feel nervous, you feel pressure. It's not easy. Like right now, I'm talking to the video camera, I feel nervous. It's not easy to do. So that's good practice. Also, number two, what's the best way to improve your presentation skill? And that is to see yourself. I know it's not comfortable, it's not easy, but when you see yourself, you can quickly see the things you're doing that are good and the things that are not so good. So in this class, we're going to look at some of my previous students as examples. And then, when the time comes, you also can come to the lab and record your presentation so that you can learn where your good parts are and where your not so good parts are. So we're gonna have lots of examples, which I think is really, really helpful. So let's get ready to go. And first of all, relax, take it easy. I think the way to approach this class is watch the videos for each unit, try to understand the main ideas and then maybe practice a little bit. Then when you come to the lab to make your presentation, beforehand think, did I do unit number one? Did I do unit number two? Did I do the advice from unit number three, unit number four, unit number five? There's only five units. So these five units, each one is something you need to do. So think about it that way. If I can master these five points, I can make better presentations. I can make presentations where the audience does not feel bored. That's the goal. The audience does not feel bored and they remember your main point. Good luck.